Hello, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the 11th IEE Control and System Graduate Research Colloquium. My name is Asif Shamim and I will be the main presenter for the research title and in proof of rolling NGBM 1-1 forecasting model with GRG nonlinear method of optimizations for fossil carbon dioxide emissions in Malaysia and Singapore. So GRG is sent for generalized reduced gradient and I will be explaining it furthermore uh, on the next few slides. So the research outline for these presentations will be starting from the problem statement and followed through method results, key findings, originality and the future work. So carbon dioxide, as we know, is one of the most dangerous gas particles that is being released to the environment and forms greenhouse gases. And these greenhouse gases actually is harming our earth and causing a severe climate change. And the release of these carbon dioxide emissions are coming from activities such as uh, burning of fossil fuels, uh, uh, transportations and as well as waste management site and in ASEAN the GHG emissions recorded at 3.6 percent at global scale in the year 2013 and it is expected to be increased significantly due to the populations and the income factors so these studies uses uh, the carbon dioxide emissions data from Malaysia and Singapore using the GRG nonlinear method in Microsoft Excel solver tool to forecast and cooperate with the gray model forecast. And the problem statement is the study of carbon dioxide emissions usually involve a small set of data which is involving yearly data which needed a suitable forecasting technique due to the insufficient information. There are lacks of studies or research focused mainly on the carbon dioxide emissions, especially in the region of ASEAN. Hence, by using the GRG nonlinear method of optimizations, it can improve the forecast ability in determining the most optimum value of op epsilon and the value of index and in the generations of B matrix factor in grave forecasting model. And the main objective for this research, research is to improve the forecasting ability by searching the most optimum value of epsilon and value of index X in the generations of B matrix factor from the ordinary least square method. And the motivations for this study is this method can be extended to all previous and new hybrid grave forecasting model and also the short term forecast using, using the carbon dioxide emission data is not being widely used uh, in research and should be put more attention for, for the future research work. So in short, the importance of the research is to develop a better modest operandi in renewable energy. And what we know is grey forecasting model gives a good forecast given a small set of data. And what we don't know is what to find the most optimum value of epsilon and the value of index and in the generation of B matrix factor. So our experiment in this research is to compare the traditional grey forecasting model as compared to the proposed grey forecasting model with the GRG nonlinear method of optimization. So our hypothesis is that the grey forecasting model with GRG method of optimization will eventually improve the forecast of the model. So the source of the data is from the world o -meter info, uh, the data is uh, the fossil carbon dioxide emissions for Malaysia and Singapore from the year 2008 to 2016. As you can see now, uh, the range of data is eventually really small. So 
hence we need to have the suitable model in order to have a better forecast so the gray system theory is first introduced by a researcher named then in 1982 the system contains both known and unknown information due to the line of data is usually presented in a smaller set as compared to a normal set of data and one of the most commonly used gray forecasting model is gm11 so from the equation one we can denote it as the initial series of a given set of data and we will form a new sequence of time series using the accumulated generating operation or ego as shown in equation two so basically the advantage of ago as introduced by dang is to smoothen the randomness of the data to achieve this so-called monotonous sets of system so that it can be forecast in a better manner as compared to other forecasting model hence it follows through equation 3 to equation 5 as you can see in equation 5 it is the form of the traditional gm11 model using the value of epsilon 0 0.5 so the main objective for this research is to find the most optimum value for the epsilon which is which will be discussed in the gr nonlinear section and it follows through equations 6 and 7. And the forecasted value will be calculated using equation 9 and 10. And based on equation 6, it is considered to be a linear differential equation where the only adjustable variable is epsilon. And there is a form of gray model forecast which is called the NGBM11 introduced by Chen in 2008. And it follows equation 12 and equation 13. Furthermore, uh, Chen also investigate a rolling mechanism uh, in a gray model introduced by Chang Lai and Yu in 2005, which basically a value reconstruction each time new observation rolls in. And the process is exactly the same as the traditional ngbm11 model in equation 1 to in equation 13 and assuming we have four observation data points this is shown in this equation and using the rngbm11 model the sequence of reductions follows equation 15. so here i will explain the advantages of the GRG nonlinear method, which basically are uh, using the Microsoft Excel solver tool. The main objective is to find the most optimum solutions on the gradient or slope until it reaches an optimum solution when the partial derivative is equal to zero. So this is an example from the solver tool in Microsoft Excel. And last but not least, the accuracy precision measure that we use in this research is the mean absolute percentage error. Based on table one, we will use the OLS method in the NGBM11 model to calculate the value of parameters A and B from years 2012 to 2016. The previous steps is being repeated using the GRG nonlinear method of optimization from the Microsoft Excel solver tool. So based on the modeling, modeling set of data, we will obtain the value of map. Hence, after we have the value of map for each data point to be forecasted, we will now set the value of map to the most minimum or most optimum value by adjusting the value of epsilon from 0 to 1 and for the value of index n from negative 10 to 10. From the result here we can see is 
a comparison of map using the traditional NGBM11 models versus the proposed RNGBM11 model and it shows that by using the proposed RNGBM11 model with GRG nonlinear method of optimization, it can improve the forecast ability for the model. And this is the graph of comparison between the actual value and the proposed model value. And next is for the Singapore data. It also shows a much more a better forecasted value as compared by using the traditional RNGBM11 model. And this is the graph of actual value versus the forecasted value using the proposed RNGBM11 model. So the key findings is according to the analysis that we have made by using the GRG nonlinear method in cooperate with the gray forecasting model, it can produce a better performance in terms of the forecasting accuracy. And the GRG nonlinear method of optimization can be applied to all extension and hybrid model of gray forecasting model. And this finding gives evidence that for preferring the GRG nonlinear method of optimization as the best method in determining the most optimum value for for Opsilon and index and as compared to the traditional RNGBM11 model. And our research is able to help researchers to produce a better forecasting results of gray forecasting model that can be applied in multi multiple discipline field of study. And the originality for this research is the contribution of this study and its ability of finding the most optimum value of Opsilon and value of index and in generation of B matrix factor. And we then compare it with the traditional RNGBM11 model in terms of the forecast accuracy ability. And for the future work, this study can be extended with the same methodology to all hybrid gray model and can be applied in multiple disciplines of study in order to support our claim regarding the effectiveness of using the GRG nonlinear method for forecasting purpose. So thank you everyone. Have a good day.